Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez. Aaron Sanchez is a world-renowned, award-winning chef and co-owner of the famous Johnny Sanchez Restaurants. He's also a budding television talent as the co-star of Food Network's hit series, Shot, and the host of Cooking Channel's Emmy-nominated Taco Trip. And those are only his English shows. The bilingual chef is also the host of two Spanish-language TV series on Fox Life. Now, Aaron's passion, commitment, and skills have placed him among the world's leading culinary figures in Latin cuisine. Celebrated by critics and contemporaries alike, Aaron has even appeared at the White House as a guest chef. Now, obviously, appearing here on American Latino Tops the White House, kidding, but regardless, he's right here talking to us on American Latino TV. You definitely did embrace the ghost pepper, and it got some kick, boy. It's teetering on being a little too much, but it's actually great. It's really working well with the rhubarb. Hey, y'all. My name's Aaron Sanchez. I'm the chef owner of Johnny Sanchez in New Orleans and in Baltimore. I'm also uh, a co-judge on the show Chopped on the Food Network. The chermo is great because I love the fact that you left it whole because it's meaty. Well, I think anytime you cook and you put yourself out there and you're trying to make people happy through food, uh, it needs to have a cultural relevance and it needs to be something intimate. And for me, the idea of uh, the way I was brought up, my mom dedicating herself to food, having a restaurant for 30 years, my grandmother uh, growing up with my mom in a cattle ranch in Chihuahua, cooking every day. Those memories and those food connections are what allows me to be authentic, what allows me to be inspired and, and really connect with people and make the world a better place through food. Always keep my eyes open, my mind open, and my palate open. I didn't, I didn't start doing this because I wanted to be on TV. It was sort of uh, something that came about. Uh, I, I, I want to believe from doing a good job. And uh, it started early. And, you know, I, I really encourage everybody that wants to be a chef, don't think you're going to do this because of just television. I'm using it, and I think it's wonderful for people to, you know, come to the restaurant. But also, think about it. Somebody in Sioux Falls, Iowa, that maybe doesn't have access to Latin ingredients, now can learn about my culture and these recipes through, through that medium, and I think that's really important. Every time you think you're gonna be pigeonholed or someone's gonna sort of put you in a box, you gotta rise above that. You have to let people know how worldly you are and, and how many different interests you have. And for me, that's the most important, and I do that through food, and inspiration for me is really important. Like you guys are in California, I spend time out there. I go to the farms. Right now I'm crazy about these grapes from California. Like, this is what's really inspiring me right now. And it's important to make sure that you share that with people. Because if not, you're just doing it for yourself. Chef Silvia, como estas? Yeah, muy bien. Nice Gracias. to meet you. Nice thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for having me in your kitchen. No, it's it's beautiful. a pleasure. Thank you for coming. I think anybody that's out there that has struggled with being heavy and looking for good options to eat and not sacrifice uh, flavor, I think that's important. And I think right here, I have some wonderful recipes that have that in mind, and I think that's really important. I have, you know, when you come to my house or you come to my restaurant, I like to start with something acidic, something bright, something to open your palate. And in this case, I have a ceviche that I've marinated with a little bit of soy, chili, and lime, and then I'm putting that over a bed of avocado, um, simply with some shaved fennel, pickled onion, and I've taken some of the red grapes, and I just kind of put those in there because they have a certain amount of sweetness and a pop to them that I really like. As Latinos, sky's the limit. We can do anything. All we need to do is a charganas, put your mind to it, and no excuses. For me, I don't feel like I, I work a day in my life. I'm really blessed. I'm able to share things that I'm passionate and inspired by all the time with many different people. This is where it's at. This is what I get passionate about. I appreciate everyone's support, and, uh, and you too.